Hey guys, it's Kelly. I'm going to do my best here because I, I tried to record making this one, but there were so many mess ups because I just figured it out. I've made a couple of these, but much smaller, and um, I've been wanting to make more, so here we go. And my tape keeps wanting to come undone. I'm not quite sure how to get that to stay on there, but it's just floral tape. So here it is. So it's really pretty flower, and I just took pieces of all kinds of things and some beads and wire and wrapped it. I'm on a wire kick. So that's what I'm going to try and attempt to show you guys how to make. Now I have a lot of this um, floral wire because this is very, very cheap. Sheep, you know what I mean. Cheap. It's 24 gauge wire so you guys can see that. And for those of you that don't know, I'm going to focus here. For those of you that don't know, the higher the gauge number, the thinner the wire, okay? So the lower the gauge number, the thicker the wire. It's kind of opposite what you would expect. So I'm going to take a ton of wire. I'm just going to take probably like two feet because I don't like running short, and I ran short last time. And... To do this, now now I'm sure that there are other people out there doing it different ways. And, you know, I do videos just to share with my subbies because they're things I think you'll be interested in. If somebody else has done it, I'm not, and I don't give them credit, it's just because I haven't seen their video or I don't remember, you know, I'm not trying to be hurtful or take anybody's credit. I'm just sharing, just to be nice. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> So I never want to offend anybody. I always do my best to give credit where credit is due. But if you guys see a video that I haven't seen, now how am I gonna how am I gonna give credit for that? So um, and nobody's been upset or rude or anything, but I just want to make it clear that you know I do my best to give credit where I can. So so these um, flowers I just took them from this spray, which I love, but I use it for different things. But I'm taking it all apart, which I knew I would. But I'm taking them from a spray like that. And you can use like paper flowers. These would work out fine too to make these sprays with this kind of big. But you know, whatever size you're doing. So you can use paper flowers, you know, whatever you would like and make beautiful flower sprays like that. But this is the one that I'm doing right now. So you can get these these flower things really cheap even at the dollar store and all you have to do is just take them apart just manhandle them and take the flower off there I don't like these little plastic things they're all nasty looking so I just rip them right off because I just want the petals so and just manhandle it <laughs> don't be scarred there we go let's get it off there okay so now I've got my three flowers and these beads are beads that have like a sideways um, hole drilled in them. So they go like this. And I've been looking for something to use these on. They're really pretty. And I'm really liking how they go for flower centers. So I'm going to grab three of these. And then, you know, I started on this yesterday, and then today I saw that um, my good friend Fiona Jennings, she had done a video on some really easy flower sprays. I love what she did. She basically took a piece of wire with like, um, and then she made like a spiral eye thing on it, put hot glue on it, and then stuck the flower center on there, and then glued, with hot glue, and then glued a, a punched out flower to the back of it. They're way easier than what I'm doing. I just want to say that. <laughs> way easier. But I had started this and I'm like, well, I can't back out now. But check out her video too. I don't know what the name of it is. It's a tutorial of some sort. I can't remember um, what it's named, but it's a lot easier and you might have some flower centers that you want to use for something like that. So I think you'd really like that. But what I did here. I'm, I'm, I've got my video in a different spot, so I've got a really long piece of wire that I'm working with here. And it's probably going to be too long, but that's okay. If it is, I'll just cut it, right? You know what? It is. It's it's too, too long. It's already getting in my way. So, 
about 24 inches is what I'm going to do. I have way too much, but I will use that. Okay, so I put my bead through there and I just twist, twist, twist. There's a lot of twisting going on. So you can sing the song if you'd like. <laughs> but there we go. And again, like I said, I think I said, there's lots of videos out there where um, people are doing um, flower sprays and they have their own little way of doing it. And, you know, and I've seen some of them and, um, you know, this is just me doing it the way that I do it in my room. Take it or leave it. Get inspired by it or don't watch it. You know, I just share things that I think people will benefit from. And I'm always thinking of my newbies. I've always got lots of newbies that, you know, we all kind of, if you've been doing it for a while, you tend to forget. You just think, oh, people don't already know how to do that. Oh, it's just simple wire wrapping. But they, you know, they might not have figured that out, you know, just because they haven't practiced it yet or done it yet. They're just new to it. But as soon as they're shown how to do it, they're going to be pros. Okay, so this is going to be my top one. I liked the pink one on this one, but I think I'll do the purple this time. Oh, that's a dark purple. Yeah, you know what? Why not? I will do it that way. Yes. This is what I spend most of my time with, guys. Him and Han over how I want to do it. Because it's the design factor of it that I'm always so anal about. I wish I could just let go sometimes. So there's that flower. That petal is a little awkward. I'm going to go with it anyway. And then I have these large bead caps. And I like, I have different kinds. Maybe I'll use this one. And I'll switch it up. I'll use this one. But I'm just putting large bead caps on there. You can get any kind of bead cap that you would like. The large ones I think work best just to end it up nicely down there. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is stick some hot glue underneath this bead cap and get it to stick to the top a little bit better. I'm working around my camera this time. So we'll see how well this goes. Come on. and then I'll just push my bead cap down and it oozes out and I burn my fingers a little bit but oh well so this flower is a little funkadelic isn't it look it's like all oddball shaped so I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with it and make it a little prettier with what else some glue Move it up like that. I don't like how this petal is. I'm not going to waste this flower. So I'll just move it up like that. And this one needs to be a little closer too, in my opinion. Ooh, my hands are shaking today. Probably has nothing to do with the peppermint mocha coffee I'm drinking right now. Ha! <laughs> okay, so there we go. So there's the first one. And I'm going to let that be just the way it is. When I'm done with it, it will not look that raggedy. Trust me. Okay. So now that I did that on my main string, I'm going to put the other flower on the other string. This is probably a little longer than what I'd like. So, but not long enough to, yeah, I'm going to cut that and just use a smaller piece. It's about a seven inches, seven or eight inches. So I'm going to put that through there, make it as even as I can and give it some twists. get it nice and tight up here. Now when you see these sprays and you buy them in the store they use a different wire. This wire is 24 gauge wire and it's not that silvery covered stuff. That stuff is okay. I don't know it's just it's store-bought looking 
and and I like the handmade look and I think that this is much different and I don't know I, I, I just I prefer that but this wire is a little bigger gauge than what they're using I believe and um, which makes it more sturdy would also make it more expensive I'm sure if they use that kind of wire but still I kind of don't like that metal look because then it starts to fray off over time and it eh, do you know what I'm talking about it's it's like a foil let me show you it's like a if I can find it on here you see it it's like a foil looking thing and you still can't see it very well but I, I kind of don't like that very much it just looks plasticky and not as nice and that's just my opinion <laughs> take it for what it is and here's another bead cap I'm gonna get started because if you put the glue on there and then you put your bead cap on your glue will be all dry before you can get it threaded on and down there so so I'm gonna put my let me get over here just a little dab of glue bring that down let it sit on there and this flower looks a little bit nicer doesn't it but I still think I'm gonna make it just a little bit closer to the flower center on these two petals And on a couple more. Okay. Just a little bit to hold it in place nicely. See? It looks nice. I think so. I just reminded myself of my friend Renier. She says that. I could listen to her talk all day in her videos. I mean all day. And now she's doing um, art journaling videos. Oh my god, I'm so excited. She is one talented lady. There's nothing she can't do and do very, very well <laughs> and make it look so easy. Okay. My third and final flower. Put it through. I get the wires even. Twist a rama. Okay, as you see, I don't twist it all the way down. I just don't think there's need for that, but... Okay, and that one looks good. Need a matching bead cap. Put that through there. Get my, I'm sorry guys, I'm wiggling you all around, but I'm trying to work around my, my tripod so that I stay in film, because no matter what I try, I seem to go out. Because I have to lift it up closer to my face, and then my setup doesn't allow me to stay in film when I do that, stay in the screen when I do that. Hot fingers. Yeah, that kind of bled through a little bit, so it got a little messy on the bottom, but we can clean that up later. I'm not even worried about it. There we go. Isn't cute? I think it's very, very shabby looking. Okay. Just couple more dabs of glue inside there just to make sure it stays kind of butt up against my flower center ah one more over here I don't like how that's laying okay there we go so now I have all three of my flowers okay this is my starting one. This will be the one that everything builds. This one will be the one that everything builds off of. And here's another flower I don't like. I gotta fix that, sorry. I'll take care of all my glue strings later. So that's the one we're gonna build off of. And these two will be on it. I think I'll do it like this. 
a nice rich purple right there nice pink right here and a nice purple right here okay so now I've got those flowers done now I'm gonna make my little um, sprays okay to do that I have some beads in mind oh <laughs> I just threw everything. <laughs> I got a mess going. I'm a busy girl. I haven't been cleaning up as I go. It drives me nuts, but I'm just moving on with it today. Okay. So I've got beads mixed in this little thing that I'm going to use. Okay. And then, oh, speaking of Renier, these are some of the beads that she gave me. She gifted me a bunch of beads not too long ago when I first got his, got started because she was so helpful in showing me how to do so many things. And she sent me all kinds of beads and I just, I always bring them out and I always use them. And I always have to point out, I try to remember, you know, like, hey, I got this from so-and-so because I've been so lucky and so fortunate I put an R in there so we'd know that that's from Renier. Little white beads. So yeah, anyway. Um, for this part, with these kinds of beads, I like to use the 24 gauge um, silver wire. You can use the green one, but then you're going to see it. And, and I don't like that. So, because if you know, let me, let me explain. You will see the wire. See it right there? you'll see little bits of it and I don't like the green showing because I'm kind of going for like a nice little shabby pastel -y looking flower and I don't like the green in it. This green wire will be completely covered up with the tape as you saw. So, But for these it will be peeking through. So I'm going to take again about 8 inches. That's probably way too much. Mm. Let's try 6. I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, and then I'll get my starting bead. I'll use a big old fat one. And then I'm going to bring it down. 75%. This is how I'm choosing to do it, guys. I don't know what's best yet. I'm just figuring this step out and sharing it as I go. Okay, so there's my bead at the top. And now I'm double strand here. Now I'm going to alternate my beads and hopefully, oh! I'm going to try my best to stay in the screen. I'm going to alternate them and just pick up as many as I'd want. I don't know, I haven't count. I'm just going with it. And I'm putting it through both wires. Okay. They're coming down. Okay, and there we go. And I think that one will probably work out just fine. Maybe I'll add a couple more in there. Just two more. Okay, and I like that. And then what I'm doing at the bottom is just uh, wrapping this tight around it, around the main one, to end it, because I don't want to wrap it back through the other one, because it's too hard with this wire. And that's going to stop it from falling down, all my beads from falling. just twist it down the strand and I should probably twist a little bit more guys because I see the beads are trying to come off and I'm having a hard time holding this still so I'm going to grab my what am I going to grab 
some of my tools. Help me wrap this around a little bit better. There we go. That should hold. And then I will tape it. Don't forget to. So there's one. Okay, that's how you do those. I'm going to do a couple more and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all my flowers and my little sparkly things right here. Really easy to make. And this is my main one. So now I'm just going to twist the other ones on where I like them. And I think I like the pink one first and then the purple, the lighter purple one next. So I'm just going to make it, bring it down maybe about three inches from the main one and wrap it around the main wire. Okay, there's that one and then here is the purple one. Maybe two inches. It's a little further from the base of the other one, I guess. Just eyeball it. Whatever you think looks pretty. Just jack that up. And again, like I said, this would be easier with a wire that is thinner, but I don't have one that's, this is the thinnest one I have, so that's what I'm going with. Okay, there's the start of it. Now, where do I like these? You know, I don't really know. So I'm just going to wrap them around. You can fast forward through all this wrapping, but you can see, because sometimes when I see tutorials and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could do that. And then when I start to do it, I feel like, God, why am I struggling with this so much? You know, God, it can't be that hard for everyone else. And then it, it actually is. I mean, you know, it's just, you have to play with it. And it's, I, I, I would think that I was doing something wrong. So I leave some of this stuff in there just to see that, no, you're not alone. You're not just struggling with it because no one else, because <laughs> you can't figure it out. Because some of it is stuff that you have to kind of fuss with. Okay. There we go. I'm sorry, I keep hitting my tripod, guys. Hopefully it's not too... Hmm. I gotta play with it. I wasn't liking the way that was showing up. Yeah, 
they just need to be a little closer. Okay, I'm fussing with it, but you know, now I gotta put the, the tape on it. So now that I've got it where I want it, this is longer than I want, so I'm just gonna double it up and just make it even stronger. And just wrap it, because I'm gonna cover all of this with, ouch, <laughs> be careful, don't get poked like I just did. And I'm gonna cover it all with tape. So it just makes it even stronger. And see this is sticking out right here. I'm just going to grab my nylon. You know I keep calling these silicone or something. No, these are nylon. My nylon pliers. You can use any pliers for that because it's going to be covered up. It doesn't matter, but those are just my closest ones. Okay. So now, again, since this is like a shabby looking, nice pastel, shabby colors, um, and I liked the white tape on it, I'm going to stick with that. I think I'll do that again. You know what? Yeah, I am. I always second guess myself. And I can never find a good starting point for this. Now, I am not a professional maker of these. <laughs> Just figuring it out. So, I'm probably starting, last time I started at the bottom. And this time I'm starting at the top. And it's going to be pretty thick layers. Because what I learned from the last one was that I doubled up. So, I wound up going back up and doubling over it. So this time I could just wrap it twice. I seem to learn something every time I do something. Every time I do a project I learn what I look, something better, you know, a better way to do it or, or what not to do. Okay, that's more realistic. I more so learn what not to do. <laughs> Trial and error. Okay. So I wrapped it down there, and now I'm going to wrap it around the pink flower. And I want to get them somewhat where I want them, because after I put the tape on, this it's not very sticky tape, but... After I get this on, it once you start moving it around, the tape starts getting a little compromised, I've noticed. So I at least try to get it close to where I'm going to want them on the spray. And I'm pulling it pretty tight because you can't put it on loose. This tape is not sticky until you yank on it. If you're, for you floral experts, you know that. I didn't. But I do now. I'm getting to where I can probably twist the flower around because my tape is getting all twisted. But it seems to be the easier way to do it. And I can still see some of the green through there, so I'm going back up and then coming back down again. tape because it's starting to bother me. Oh! <laughs> that was hilarious! <laughs> oh god, that was funny. <laughs> I'm not 
gonna have to leave that in. I don't know if I'll cut that out. That was just too funny. Did y'all just like get the crap scared out of you? <laughs> oh. Anyway, sorry if I scared you. All right, I'm totally off now, my angle. <laughs> That's what I get for messing with my tripod. Okay. I'm gonna keep wrapping. Oops. Don't wrap your pedal in. Straighten that out. I'm going to go back down. Whew, that was funny. Okay. I'm getting there. Oops. I thought I was getting there. Probably cut off way more than what I need. So there we go. I like the way the other one turned out a little bit better, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's almost like I need another flower right down here because I put this, this one too low, but that's okay. I am all right with that. So I hope you liked it. I hope that that helped you and I didn't make you dizzy when I broke my, um, when the uh, 
tripod came down. I'm trying to move it now, for crying out loud. I can't seem to get anything right today. Okay. So there we go. You guys should try to make one yourselves out of your extra things. Or just go to the dollar store and get some pretty little flowers. Get some beads. Or just some flower centers. You don't have to do beads. You don't have to do it this way. And check out Fiona's video too because hers is really easy. I love it. I love how she was doing hers. So hope you like it. Thank you for watching guys.